fishing. And I got a little earlier. And so, back in the lake shop. Well, I'm lake trout fishing, and literally I was getting a nibble, and I don't know if it's still there or not, and I think I may be getting a nibble, and so that'll be good. So, so I'm going to go check the other pole. I'm not going to roll it up. I'm just going to hold it in. Okay, so if I'm getting I'm going to roll that, that mine's acting a little different. And this one, that ain't really good. Let's check, and check that one because that one was the one getting bites. So if I get a bite, I want to find somewhere to put the camera up. I can feel the line. A silver spot. Wait. Set the camera up. So, if I catch a fish, that's gonna be awesome. What I'm using for bait is herring. I'm using an older hook. The lake trout, they got some pretty big mouths. And I'm using a banana weight, about six foot liter. And it's cold outside. It's real cold outside, so. I'm just hoping I can catch one. I was gonna go ice fishing, except I didn't. And so I'm just watching the cold. So that I can catch a big laker. Actually, the, the ones where I'm catching, they don't get super big. The biggest I can guarantee is probably going to be at eight, ten pounds. Probably huge for this place. Two to six pounds is probably average. So I don't know. I come out here. So I don't normally catch a lot of fish out here. Except it's cool when you do, because you don't normally catch white trout. Wow. Um, so. Yeah, I'm just sitting and waiting because I want to catch a lakey. I'm thinking about holding it because I've been getting constant. Oh no, I don't think I'm getting one a little better right now. So I think this might be the first video of me actually catching a fish. That'd be good. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna grab it because I'm getting nibbles. Except it's not that much, and so I wanted to take it, so I'm just gonna wait. If I can get the lake, this will be awesome. I'm using herring, since I wanna try shrimp, I wanna see if that's the normal biting bite on herring. Oop, getting a nibble. That's good to know. I'm using some pretty heavy line for this. 
and a little salmon rod. So if I see the line moving, and my tip moving at all, I am definitely going to get him. And then there's that other pole over there that my dad was fishing. And it's about, it's got, it's a trout pole, six pound test. So I'm just waiting because I'm getting a bite. I want to come. That last video of me catching a kokanee, he was about 16 inches out to about a pound. I'm gonna go look at my trout pole because, yeah, I'll either stop filming if I'm not catching one within the because I have about an eight minute time frame. I've used up about six minutes of it. I'm gonna hold my pole because. Huh. There's something obviously messing with it. Well, I'm gonna let that sit. There's obviously something messing with it. Well, I'm gonna good nibble. Ooh. I think I'm gonna wait to set the hook. See, I don't know. Let's just see, because I want him to take it. It might be just a smaller guy. Set, to, I don't know. I'm fishing two hooks. I think I'm gonna yank it. How'd you know? Yeah, I cannot decide. I'm gonna check my bait, because I should get my bite. Using a banana weight. It's probably weeds if anything. Nah, uh, yeah, weeds. Is one of my hooks bait missing? We'll find that out. Yeah, actually it was. Any bite marks? Nope. Except, I'm going to toss it back out. I'm going to whip it back out there. Hey, next so I'm probably going to recast. I think I get nibble. I'm fishing later in the season. What will happen is, is I'll be fishing. 